Hi, this is Chris of Spurred on TV. I've got Richie with me. We're outside the Hawthorns, uh, West Brom 1, Spurs 1. Richie, what do you think of the game today? I think it's a fair result. I think one all is a fair result, but West Brom, they packed out the midfield, so they put five in midfield because that's where we would have won the game. We've got the better players, like, technically, but what I think if McLean, McLean got, well, ref, the ref basically screwed up. That tackle that McLean put in, 10 minutes in time, he should have gone and then we'd have been on for 10 minutes and who knows what happened, we could have nicked it, we could have got the three points mm -hmm. and we've been like right amongst the top four now. But we've, um, out of 15 league games now, we've, we've drawn eight. What can we do to actually turn those eight games into, into wins? Do you know what I think? Um, draws like today, you, you'll take them. You know, West Brom are a decent side, coming away to West Brom, seems like Stoke away from home, you'll take a point. Maybe not the start of the game, but the way we played today, I think you'll take a point. But Drawing at home to teams like Stoke after being 2-0 up, uh, teams like Liverpool and Everton, where we're dominating games, we need to give Kane another another option because or another strike on the pitch. Because if we win them games at home, then we're we're right amongst it. Today, it's um, it's a fair result, and you'll take a point. Mm. You would. Well, it was bad conditions out there today. Do you think that affected anything? Um, because it's windy. Yeah, it's yeah. maybe maybe a little bit. Yeah, but. Um, no, I think today, I think Pulis maybe over Potts is probably tactically won it, I'd say. Because he's put five in midfield against our four and they looked a little bit more hungry than us. And we, I, I don't know, I just think we need to mix it up a little bit more in midfield. Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised they didn't nick the win, actually, because, uh, you know, Hugo, Hugo oh. again, has saved yeah. us. He saves us constantly and, yeah. and he's such an important person to our team. Yeah. And, you know, what do you think of him? I completely agree. Hugo... Along with Harry Kane and Toby, are probably this season and Deli Ali's like had an amazing season. Um, our best players, you got yeah Toby, um, Lores, you know against Chelsea when he saved that volley from Hazard. Yeah. Um, today again, he's 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 basically got us a point both games. That's another two points. You look at that at the end of the season, and if you're fighting for that top four, them two points, that key, you know what I mean? That they're like they could date that is is you know that's the. From fourth to fifth, that that could that could count. Where yeah. do you think we'll end up um, at the end of the season? Do you think we'll be up there? Do you think we can challenge for the league? Um, you know, perhaps this season, next season. Right, I'm going to be op optimistic now. I think I think this season we're going to finish third. I think we've got good. Not we're the youngest team in the league. We're the fittest team in the league. Pacino, he's he's like the best man we've had in years. I mean, Harry Redknapp, he's you know he's quality, and I, I love Harry Redknapp. He's, he should never went. But Potch has got a different, you know, he's, he's, he's modern, he's, he knows what he's doing. He's, he, we, this, the new scout we've got in from Southampton, mm -hmm. we've got Deli Alley, do you know what I mean? That explains a lot. There's a lot of, there was a lot of um, teams off Deli Alley. Yeah. And we've got, what, five million? Yeah. Bargain. What a signing. He's just come straight in and he's, he's smashing it. You know, he's, sitting, he, he's p keeping players like him. Um, I know uh, Bentelab's injured, but if you have Bentelab and Mason both fit, Imagine that scenario to have. Who would you put in the team if they were all playing well? And that's what you need in the, in the club. That's what you need to be up there with the top four. I think the midfield this year, the best signing is Toby, but then it's going to be Dele Alli for what he's done. Like is is amazing. Lastly, Richie, we've got um, Newcastle next game at home in the league. What do you think the score will be? This is the thing. Be, being a Spurs, I've been a season ticket for about uh, seven or eight years, but. Um, Boys, bloody calling my name. Um, these games at home, you think you, you go into the game, you think you should, you should get three points, but it's always one of them games that I don't know whether the players just don't seem up for it, but maybe on the pots they'll be more up for it. But you always think it's a bit of a shady game, but we'll, we'll always concede one goal. I think we'll win 3 1. We'll win 3 1. And we'll beat Norwich as well. And then we'll, we've got off the Norwich. We've got what for the what for body. Them sort of games, like today, we, sh we, we should be getting... F yeah. If you're going to be up there, you've got to try and nick the other three points at these sort of grounds. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, let us know what you think of Richard's comments um, in the section below. Don't, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV. Thank you.